Hi, Joy dear. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, hi, John. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. John is. How are you feeling today? Um, to be honest, I was feeling very heavy-hearted yesterday. So, listening to the extension of MCO definitely affects everyone, including you and me. But it also affects that uh, there's also a huge decision that we made in the company. But it's a good one, so no worries. Now I feel like um, the burden has already it's slightly, you know, lifted up. So I don't feel that. Bad anymore or things like that, and I'm now really looking forward for our doodle session. Yes. So, how did you feel this morning when I messaged you? Uh, wait, someone said, "Am I late?" No, guys, we just started. So, th- I was yeah. sharing with everyone this morning. I literally just messaged you <laughs> and sent you a bunch of like samples. Do you think the idea of doing crystals and magic? Do you think it's possible? Can we make it Lindsay style? Yes, we can make it Lindsay and Jens and everyone style. So it is doable, but it is challenging. So I just, you know, put this in the front first. Okay, so it's challenging, guys. This is what we need because this is part three already. So it means it's time to up our game. It's time for us to upgrade and learn something new together. Uh, although it's a little bit challenging, but we'll try. Um, right now, I'm gonna flip the camera and Lindsay. I want you to take it away. Okay, sure. So let's flip and let us prepare a bit. Mm-hmm. So here we have it. John's with us as well. I'm so proud of him today. Oh, He's joining. Okay. To I'm so proud to the John. Do you draw? No. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the that's thing, great. you know. This is this is what you're doing, Lindsay. This is what you are making people do. Like people can't draw; they look forward to this. Yes, I'm so happy. Like, but um, I just want to ask you: um, Can you know a beginner try to draw this as well? Uh, yes, that's it's definitely possible. We will take things slower today, so yeah, I will. We will do some warm ups together, and yeah. also because crystals require a bit of um, structure practices, so mm-hmm. we will do that as well. And the good thing uh, for today's lesson is that we will combine some of the revision. I mean, we will do some revision that we had done for the past few sessions, and we will mix. Uh, we will mix mix and match everything together. Okay. So there will Got be it. a lot of um, layering required. Sorry. There will be a lot of layering required, which is fun and challenging. <laughs> you know what's challenging? Trying to get my freaking camera to work. <laughs> it's like <laughs> sliding down. Check this out. Whoa, so smooth. Sliding lower and lower. <laughs> is, is it the tripod or the... Oh, okay, it's the... <laughs> this up real quick. Yeah, just no go worries. Just need to Hello, up. everyone. I just want to say hi to everyone. Let me just check out. We're doing crystals today. Sorry that we didn't like inform everyone beforehand. Like we just decided this morning, right, Jen? Yeah. But I guess everyone's good to go. Okay, let's do this. Are you ready, Jen and John? Everyone. Uh, not just yet, but no, you go ahead. Uh, take your time. Please. Take your time. Yeah, let me just sit down or just prep everyone first while mm-hmm. we wait for them to adjust. You can have a pen, a pencil, mm-hmm. eraser, and for today's session, if you have some colors that will be nice, like blue or purple. Or even pink, that's fine too. Something pastel. But mm-hmm. this is definitely optional. So if you have it just used, if you don't, please, this view will, will be good. Mm. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Let's write down the topic for today. Shall we do a banner? Do you still remember how to do a banner? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like testing Jen right at the beginning. Let's do the word crystal, shall we? Yeah. 
So this is for revision. Oh, sorry. This is for warm up. You can just write your words on top or in the middle. Really depends on yourself. Uh -huh. Okay, Chris. So, so just draw the banner. But because this is just a just one word, so just a simple banner will do. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's it. You can write your word in cursive or straight, whichever you like. <laughs> I can never make it look as nice as yours. It's okay, take your time. <laughs> or you can write the word first. That's if that works for you. Mm. Would you like to switch on some music, Jen? Can you hear? Cannot hear. Oh, cannot hear. Hmm. Yeah, I'll make it louder. No worries. Okay. Something just relaxing. Okay, cool. Okay. So just ink it. Can you hear the music? Mm, not really from my side. Can everyone hear? Here's Jen's music. So you just ink everything and you can do some shadings. Nice. Yes. That's nice. Oh, I think, is it because you are using the, you're using the, how do I call that? The cordless? Oh, no, I'm not actually. Maybe I'll, oh, I'll okay. use that. Can I continue? It's okay, Jen. Never mind. It's okay. Never mind if it, we just need to be zen. All right. Okay, great. Let's continue. So mm -hmm. we're going to do some basics of crystals. But before that, mm -hmm. I want to do a quick like, test of everyone. Do you know how to draw a 3D rectangle, Jen? A 3D rectangle? Mm -hmm. So uh, something I like, call it. A something 3D like this? Yes. Yes, that's a cube. Yes, correct. Okay, okay. so let's just do a, a quick revision in case like um some of you need it. Mm -hmm. So just draw a long rectangle like this. Okay. And mm -hmm. usually in science or maths cl class, right, we will just add another rectangle diagonally, probably on the top or below, whichever you like. Yes, correct. And at all the edges, you have to connect with diagonal lines like this. So this is your cube, okay? Everyone's clear, right? So this is pretty simple. Now for crystal, it's actually the basic form is formed by like a, a triangle on top. Everyone can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then another, another slanted triangle. I imagine that this is like the side behind. Okay. And you connect it with the slanted lines again so that this becomes 3D. Mm. Great. And bottom here, at the bottom here, you just do an exact rectangle. I mean, the this cube, cuboid things. So this is like a crystal. Okay. Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay. I just want to let everyone know the, the basic of how forms are made so that 
uh, we are not anyhow drawing this. Like there, there is always structure and form, which mm. uh, people are always uh, paranoid. Like, oh, I can't do this, can't draw that. It's because of form. You are not confident with form. But once you get the hang of this, you will know that, oh, how this thing is, um, you know, built and, and form like that. But if we're drawing fast, we won't be drawing everything like this because you already know, like, what comes first, what comes next and all the layerings. So now we will just go directly to a, I think this is a kite shape or a rhombus, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-huh. I, I return everything to teacher. I also return, Leo. <laughs> I return. Yeah, so everyone just draw this kite shape or rhombus, okay? So we start from the outer shape and then we, we will go inwards. Mm-hmm. And inside, we'll do another middle line, but you make it slightly slanted, like um, probably, you know, nearer to the left or to the right so that it looks slightly chewy, okay? Can be a bit longer as well. Then from the left edge, just connect it to the middle. So it forms like a, a cut a cut side here. Okay. And then connect it to the right again. Great. And connect it from the middle to the bottom. So this is a really basic. Ah. So it's kind of like the seams. I'm not sure. Like, are you familiar with the seams? <laughs> so they always have this sign on top. Mm. Okay, and uh, let's repeat again because some some people are a bit confused. Let me just okay. check the. Okay, let's do let's do one more time, guys. So, a kite shape. All right, this is a kite. Someone said the oh. sims. <laughs> Yeah, the sims. And then from the middle point, draw a slanted line down. It could be nearer to the left, nearer to the right, doesn't matter. It's slightly longer. So that when you do the line from left to, to the middle, there there is this slant. And from the middle to the right again. And close it down here. Great. And we want to do a cut edge, like um, some crystals are imperfect. So you can just do this random mini line below here. Like it's been cut or, or you know, mm. some, yeah, it's nature, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And we can ink this too. Mm. So just ink it with pen. And the lines doesn't have to be perfect again, guys. So just stop at some point and make a bit of like dots and a bit of weekly that's fine and you can put some remember the random lines here and yeah. there so that it looks there's a bit of texture very natural and also some of the glossy lines so that it looks very bling bling oh like my god I love this Yes, Jen. Wow, you're so good. My goodness, I'm so excited. I really, mm-hmm. really love crystals and I'm so excited. I really, really love this. Okay, already it oh. looks legit, okay? No, maybe Are I you a dot, 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 dot. Like the, Do you believe in tarot cards and like this? this I, like, I like the Would mystical, you? mythical, uh, you know. It's like, mm, okay. I think it's quite interesting, but I don't know to what extent I believe in it, you know? I think it's very beautiful, very romantic. Yeah. So this topic is pretty spiritual and mysterious. We're going to explore more later. Mm. Great. Or if you want to up the game, that's Mm -hmm. fine. This is optional. So you could even just shape one side of the... You know, like the one Ah. side. So the side, if you want to shape everything, just make sure that you, you shape both sides mm. I mean the, the left side but this is optional really so not uh, it doesn't have to be like compulsory it looks so good look John it's did it as well I'm so proud of him look I want to see I want to see John Whoa. can do this anyone else can do okay guys 
Very <laughs> nice, Dom. Very nice. I'm so proud. That's nice. Okay, let's up our game a little okay. bit. Everyone's good with this. So let's go with um, is it a hexagon? Do you know how to draw Whoa. a hexagon? I'm gonna so try. It, yeah, we have a shorter top and um, a longer like bottom. Okay, so yes. this. I think this is hexagon, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, John. Is this hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's not people's side, right? Mm, well, it's inspired by. Inspired by. <laughs> okay, great. And then, is that right? Okay, so from the top left point, edge, you just do the same thing as we did for, for this um, triangular looking crystal. So you just go down slightly into the middle so that it forms a triangle as well. Yes, great. This is very nice. Someone says it looks like coffin. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> and then on the on the top top right, should I say that? Yeah, just do another another triangle. triangle. But it doesn't have to be of the same size or shape. It could be just very random. Mm. Great. That's great. Okay. And then just connect. There's two triangles together with a line. Yes. And then from the middle point, go all the way down parallel to the side. To the bottom right. And add this little triangle so that similarly it has a cut edge as well. Great. Mm. So let's ink it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Yes. Oh, I finally hear the music. Sorry? Okay. I finally hear the music. That's good. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, I like Jen. Piano playing. Me too. You this can is add like more a diamond. Some sort, some sort. You can Something. add more like cut edge randomly around if you like. Ah, yes. Then just it, add the random lines and shading for the texture. It's looking good. Looking good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do one last crystal because I, okay. I'm we'll just introduce like the basic shapes today and then we can elevate the one. Mm. Okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do another hexagon as well, but this is more like a like a jewel shape. Okay. So there is this pointy top here. And a pointy end as well. Yeah, something also like that. Also, it's like a wow at it. Uh, is it a wow? Mm. No. I simply say like, <laughs> okay. It's like like an arrow? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. Okay, great. Then, so from the top here, we go down. Somewhere to the about the same same length here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then inside here, we're gonna do another like smaller hexagon, which is of the same shape of this. So you just repeat it, but it's smaller. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the best trick. Okay, great. Now, with all the edge edges here, you just connect it to the nearer nearest edge with lines. So this looks more like a gem or jewel mm. to be excellent. Great, and then we will ink it again. Nice. 
how are you, Jen? How are you, John? Sorry, I I didn't even like ask how how. No worries. We are alive. We are really excited <laughs> to like spend our evening with you. It's nothing nice. more I look forward to. Like every week, I look forward to this because I Me learned too. something. New. <sighs> it's like I'm holding on to this dual session with you. All. Yeah, and like I saw the other day you doing the makeup. I really like the Chanel bottle that you drew. <laughs> so oh. cool. Let's do that sometimes. Yes. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm concentrating. <laughs> no worries, Ron. Take. I mean, we're we're okay with it because everyone's so focused. Yeah. Someone, Idaf say it looks like batu cincin. Yes, correct. Yes, exactly. Remember to shade it and give it a bit of light here and there, guys. Mm. Wow, Jen. I'm very proud of myself. Pandanya. I'm so proud of myself. Pandanya. Terima kasih, ya, sis. I also want to see John's one later. <laughs> He's very shy. It's okay. Is everyone okay? Shall we move on? Hmm. I'm okay. Okay. Let's um. Okay, so with all this, we're gonna do a border so we can flip to a new page and let's do an A5 border. We're gonna uh, mix the crystals with the galaxy stuff that we learned last week, yeah. and it will be very beautiful. Mm. Yeah. I just wanna explain to everyone. This takes a bit of time. I understand that this is uh. Crystals tend to be more angular and you might find it a bit um, uncomfortable like compared to plants and and galaxies, things that yeah. we learned before. But this is something new. So please have an open mind to accept something that is, you know, probably you, you don't ever expect to draw something like this, but who knows, you will improve it that way. Mm. Okay, great. Let's flip to a new page. All right, let me just zoom out a bit. Okay. <laughs> Someone said I'm drawing with my eyes. Okay, also can. But you can just grab pen and paper and then you can just join us, guys. It's really, really super easy. That's right, get pen and paper. <laughs> It's fine too, no worries. Okay, so for the border, it will be a new page and we can start with um, an inner border as well. So this will be slightly different from the border that we do we did last week. I want yep. everyone to draw a crescent moon or a star, if, I mean, your choice, on every edge of the paper okay the moon can be facing outwards crescent moon yes okay okay so if you want to double it up it's fine too so we, i can just add another crescent moon below or a, or a star whichever you like this is all about your imagination and it's all about mis mystery as well. So it doesn't... Yeah, my, the mystery, mystery of mine, it looks like a uh, pisang. Pisang. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, look at that. No, zoom in. I'm zooming in for you. <laughs> look at that. Uh, pisang goreng satu, ya? Yeah? Pisang goreng. <laughs> Probably after shading, it will look better and less... Mm. Okay, and then probably one finger inwards away from the edge. You, we can do a line and a double line. So it's kind of like an illustration book or the cover of the tarot card. Yeah, and 
the lines, repeat the lines for all the three edges as well. So I remember in the first class, uh, Limzi taught us that if your line's not straight, never mind. Just put two lines there so that it will seem as if, like, you know, you intentionally make it not so straight. Yes, correct. That's the tip. Okay, sorry, guys. Because this requires a bit of, like, a zoom out to let everyone see the, the situation. So now we zoom in a bit. I'm going to ink it a bit so that it is clearer for everyone. You can leave it uninked first because uh, there's a whole lot more later on, but I'm just going to ink and show everyone what we're doing. So basically, draw a crescent moon, okay, on each of the four edges. It could be just a single moon, or if you want to double up with a double crescent moon, please go ahead like this. Okay, sketch it first. Or if you want to add star, be my guest. Just just draw any galaxy inspired things. That's mm -hmm. fine too. Oh yeah, so this can actually kind of link to last week's yes. uh, galaxy theme here. Huh? Correct. You can add twinkle stars, whichever you like. But whatever you add here, please mm -hmm. remember to duplicate it for the other three edges mm -hmm. so that it kind of looks cohesive. Mm. Mm -hmm. I really like it. You always remind us to be cohesive. Yes, it, because design doesn't, you know, design doesn't come like anyhow. There, there's a bit of reason to it, but mm. it's really hard to explain. Once you get like into it, then you will know what's like the meaning of cohesive, balanced things mm -hmm. like that, right? Mm -hmm. You get it, right? Yeah. Okay, so just repeat. Once you're done with the top, go down. Repeat the bottom left and right. John is like looking at my work, like copying notes like that. <laughs> Do we draw that line as well? Um, you probably not first. Jen, okay. I think it's fine. Let's leave it. I don't want to confuse everyone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Aili, thank you so much. They said Jen is getting better. Woohoo! <laughs> Jen is really getting better. All right. For those of you who are not here with us last week, I know probably you, you are struggling with the crescent moon. Actually, crescent moon is pretty simple. You just draw a, a big circle. If you're not familiar, like drawing directly, I'm showing it here. And then just do the crescent according to the circle. That way you will get a perfect crescent. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you just wrap off the, the lines that we don't need. So this is really rounded and smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay? That way you don't feel like it looks like a banana, pushangore, <laughs> whatever. I know. I know everyone hungry, hungry for <laughs> for sweet food nowadays. <laughs> okay, shall we continue? All right, yes, going please. back up. I just need to zoom out a bit again. Oh, come to think of it, we actually can ink it, Jen. Sorry about it. Let's uh -oh. ink the top part. Yeah, the right. top line first. Great. Now we are going to stop for the, the rest of the edges and we're going to work around this area here. Okay. So we're going to do the scallop curtain thing again and then uh -huh. we'll hang down all the crystals and stars. Mm. Is that good? Does everyone remember this? Mm. 
Okay, so let's do the scallop line. It doesn't have to be perfect or like the same length or width. It could be some, you know, like um, shallower, some are deeper. How just many? Random. Probably four or three. Four. And then okay. you can repeat again, like in the middle, you can just overlap ah. some of them. It's like the fish scale. Hmm. I probably just need to show everyone like they're confused. So we're doing this scallop line thingy, hanging the stars around, okay? Mm. Mm, okay. So it did, did, did this back then. Do you still have it, Jen? Uh, let me look for it. Hold on. Okay. Pretty sure I got. See, this is what we got right here. Yeah. Jen's one is a perfect sample. Yes. It does. Today we're going to revise this and put it on top here. Okay. Okay, you can ink it directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And along the way, while inking, you can just add dangling crystal or if crystal is a, is a bit still challenging you can just add twinkle or star whichever you like if you want to challenge yourself just draw the structure of the crystal here like what i'm doing it doesn't have to be big it could be just a tiny crystal or gem just dangling so this is kind of, this is a border of a gypsy's room mm. So I just want everyone to imagine. Probably it's a bit hard to, to visualize it now, but later on, everyone will see it. Okay. Okay. Yes. You can even add some darkened twinkles, whichever you like, or stars on top of the scallop or just below the scallop. That's fine too. Some could be dotted down all the way some could be long and short it doesn't matter yeah it also has a bit of raya vibes if you just see yeah. this point <laughs> yeah you mentioned this last week <laughs> so for our muslim friends you can design this for your ramadan i understand that this is you know it's it's been a hard month so everyone please hang on yeah Nice, Jen. That's good. That's a good crystal. Thank you. It's so encouraging. Oh, you're good. You're good. Like, wow. Tremendous improvement in just <laughs> three weeks. Yes. I'm enjoying. Do you see my shopping list? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw it. Shopping list. Yes. Wait, there's one more that is... I want to draw the... This one, there we go. Bam. Okay, just add some random dots as well to represent the very distant star or the fairy, fairy dust effect. Add some crystals too. For the pens, Joe Yi is interested to know. I think is Jen using a pilot? Are you using are you using a pilot, Jen? Yeah, I'm using a pilot. Yes, Jen is using a pilot. I'm using art line. And um, I mix both with Sharpie and Artline. But Sharpie, reason being, I want, I just want it to be thicker so that I can show everyone. But Artline is my favorite pen. But for now, I just want everyone to use whatever you have at home. That is yeah. our point of um, this it. whole deal thing. It's like the cheapest hobby and, and therapy you can do it. Yes. <laughs> 
But if you really want to support like local stationery stores, I do know that Zipli and Securific, I think they're still open for online orders. You can just go up and, and have a look. Mm. Yeah. Stabilo is a good one too. You can use Stabilo. Wow, Jen's, Jen's separate is really looking good. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. You should see John. John's also really not bad, eh? I'm very proud of him, eh? See, see, guys, look. I, I, no, I can tell John is a very meticulous. Oh my god, John, yours is perfect. Like, you know, very, very... He's very obsessed with lines. Technical. So you can see. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell he's very meticulous. Yeah. <laughs> relax, John. Relax. Just, just <laughs> could relax. Doesn't have to be perfect line. It could be just dangle and a slightly wiggly. That's fine. <laughs> well, he's impressed. He's actually impressed. You made him realize he can actually like do those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if your mom can do it, you can do that too. <laughs> But his mom is very artistic. His mom is like mm. watercolor painting. Oh, I think from as well. Nice. Yeah. It's really touching to see that your mom joined our doodle as well, John. Oh, wow. that really it. You're so sweet. Yes, very sweet. Oh my god, Elaine! Hi. Elaine, you must be so proud of John. He actually is doing some drawing. I'm so, so impressed with him. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. How's everyone doing at home? I hope you're having fun, as much fun as us. Chantek. Chantek, yeah, my Chantek. Nice. I have, I'm lost for words because too nice already. I have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Salamat, ding, 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 Hari Raya. <laughs> Hari Raya, Champo, Crystal, Champoor, Pixie, <laughs> your future is bright. <laughs> okay, let's ink the, the body on the, on the left and the right. Okay. Yep, just go all the way down. All right. Again, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect line. You can just be a bit wiggly and stop and have some breaks, like what we're doing here. Tell John he won one. <laughs> because if art is an imitation of reality, then what's the point of art, right? Oh, <laughs> I love that. Please say that yes. again. Please say that again. <laughs> If art is an imitation of reality mm. and logic, then what's the point and sense of art? <laughs> Ooh, wow, you we should quote that. That is yes. quote so beautifully done. <laughs> you know, you art really is. should make it your brand. Honestly, that is so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It, it truly is. It truly is. <laughs> Someone say John looks like Arabic night. <laughs> <laughs> Arabian night and day. <laughs> Jen, your audience is very creative. Like they can think yeah. of all the things. Really one, really yeah. one to watch me, right? They are mm -hmm. creative. They are funnier than me. <laughs> can tell, right? Yes. You can shade a bit if you want. So just go ahead and shade. Or you can shade it after after that. No worries. Okay, let's move on to the bottom border. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do a quote here first, uh, which says your future looks bright. So we're going to do the S shape banner again and mm -hmm. here there will be this crystal ball so it, it looks something like this <gasps> wow, okay, this is the whole look at that. 
Yeah, I, I, oh it's my really God. funny to talk. It's just like give a surprise. So there's a bit of layering. So we're going to do one by one. So first the... Oh my God! The so Please let me have my emotion right now. That is beautiful! <laughs> Yes, and the crystal, thank you, Jen, and also the crystal ball. So now we're going to do this banner, okay? okay, okay, okay. So it will be all the way, because it's a bit long, so it will be all the way from the left to the right. Let's do this. Okay. okay. So remember, the banner is um, it's an in, it's kind of like an inverted S shape, a very blunt S like this. You also have to estimate how big your words are, so... Try to make it decent, or you can even just write the words first. Your future. Okay. So it's really hard for me to tell everyone like how to gauge your distance, this and that, but please try your best. So your future will be on the left and looks bright will be on the right. It doesn't, if you can't do cursive, please just do your, your style or font, doesn't matter. Okay. Yes, this is level. I, I should say level four because we suddenly have to do a lot of things that we practice, revised before, and we have to do the layering and yes. to, uh, to line up with this topic. And once you're done with your word, now you know your height of the banner you can just do another line below your word the snake shape or the inverted s as well Good. like this okay this doesn't have to be perfect john remember that <laughs> <laughs> i think he probably will be good with architectural drawing I yes. think if he, yeah. he likes, I think he, he likes like you know straight lines, perspectives, yeah. and buildings. I don't know. This okay, is my guys. If you are missing out, the word is your future looks bright. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, Rachel, for spelling it out. You're so sweet. Okay, remember there is this turning point in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's connected with straight lines, and you can slightly see behind the ribbon behind. Okay, so Wait, I'm gonna do draw the... this. Hold on, now. let me just look at yours. So, this one mm. is like almost like a like this, and then this continues on. Yes, okay. well, I'll ink it to, to let everyone see. Them. You can choose not to ink it now because uh, there will be a lot of variation and changes later on. Mm. So it's fine that we just leave the, the pencil sketch first. Is everyone okay with the banner? Yeah. Yes, I think we repeat the banners quite often, so I'm pretty sure you're confident with this. I think, you know, once we're referring to you, it gets better, it gets easier. Mm, yeah. So you can ink it now, or you can ink it later, whichever you like. I'm just going to ink it with Jen so that everyone is, can see this clearer. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Chetnor. All right, let's move on to the 
the crystal ball. Okay, I have to zoom out a bit. So crystal ball. Have you done like crystal ball kind of future, fortune telling before, Jen? No, I have never. I've never. Okay. No. I've never too. So this is all <laughs> based on you know like storybooks, things like uh, myths and that we see from the gypsy. So we need quite a bit of space. Okay, you can just go up for maybe three or four fingers, whichever you like. Okay, just draw a big circle. Make sure there's a bit of gap here so that we can put the, the base of the ball. Okay. So just draw it big. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect as well. Okay, at the base, the base kind of looks like the the beehive thing. I'm, I'm not sure, like just one rounded edged base and another one like this so that it holds the ball. There's a bit of overlapping underneath the banner so you can just make sure that your sketch is clear if you're not confident. Don't worry, the best thing for pencil is you can always rub it off. So don't be afraid of sketching. Nice, Jen, nice. Maybe you can you can either draw your ball bigger or lower your ball, your crystal okay. ball a bit. Yes. Okay. So that there's a bit of uh, overlapping. overlapping. That will More be, interesting. La. Yes, that will show your, you know, your skill of drawing and doodling. Like you know how to layer things. Okay, I try. Yes. Let's try to over overlay things, guys. This is kind of like a new skill. Level four, okay, guys? Level four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ma, I still can't hear it. Come on, let me try again. Let me try again. Mama la, mama la. I'll draw a bigger one now this time. Yes. Your future looks so bright. So you have wow. you need to have a bright and round, background. yeah. Hmm. Okay, then I'll just draw this. Got it. Done. Great. But the height is too big. Hmm. I think too high. Hmm. You can adjust it a bit. Okay. Well, shall you ask if this the crystal ball needs to be at the center? Well, it doesn't. If you prefer it to be at the side, please go ahead and put it at the side. Center is just um. My, um, personal preference, like this is the the biggest subject matter here. The top, mm -hmm. like your future looks really bright in the middle. <laughs> okay, Chan take. So inside, let's do a crescent moon again. Okay, okay. let's do a perfect crescent moon. It will be a smaller circle. Well, if you want to cheat a bit, you can use 50... Is, this, is it yeah. a 50 cent coin or 20? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, you can use that, but I I highly recommend everyone to try it freehand. Trust me. You will, you will feel the difference one day. Like Suddenly, you can just draw a perfect circle. And do the crescent. Curve the line inside the circle again. And this is your perfect... Crescent Moon, you can even use this to draw our flag, Nagaraku, okay? <laughs> really, I always struggle in school. This is how you do it. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Nagaraku, yeah? Yes, you can even rub it off. Okay, this is your moon. It is pointy, it is round, and it is bright. And then let's add some um, stars and twinkle as well. John is and smiling, talks. by the way. Just want to let you know. I've never <laughs> seen John so happy before. 
for his drawing. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so happy, John. Well, you guys are cutting hair, right? Is it this? Yeah, on Sunday. This Sunday. I'll be oh, I want to see. So nervous. <laughs> I can't wait cuz so super inspired by Chanwon. Still remember her? <laughs> yeah, her I know. Boyfriend or fiance? My goodness, it was so yeah. funny. Yeah, I I trim it for my fiance as well. It's just so fun. <laughs> Lindsay, why are you nervous? I'm the one getting my hair cut. No, <laughs> I I just like <laughs> I'm, I'm I can feel you're nervous, John. That's that's my point of like perspective. <laughs> You know imagine my my hair being cut by even though it's your partner you know I don't I don't trust him more. <laughs> But good luck. Here we go. Yay. Okay, let's not ink this first because we might be overlapping some of the crystals. Mm. There's a bit of block here, okay? Okay. Okay, let me just zoom in. Okay, let's start doing the crystals. Probably from the left uh, if you're a right-hander or from the right if you're a left-hander. So, just build up the crystals that we have learned just now. Flip to your page. Oh my god. Limzy, okay. we're left hmm? with five more minutes. Oh really? <laughs> It's okay. We can just continue later on. Let's just keep drawing until you know the right. the time. Right. Yes. Okay. One of the tip is that we can start from smaller crystals. Like there will be smaller crystals here. So probably a total of five. Four to six crystals will do. So we start from the smaller crystal and the basic shape first, and then we'll build in all the the inner cut edge lines. Okay. So probably let's do okay. um a, a rhombus, ah, uh, the, the the kite shape. Okay. Yes, but it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can just randomly put anywhere, and a okay. smaller one, just slightly peaking above the banner, maybe a rectangular. Crystal or or just random angular shapes. Remember the tip of doing repeated shapes and lines for this kind of nature elements will be. It doesn't have to be per parallel to each other. Like for example, for this one, it is facing this side. This one, it is facing this side. So it is non-parallel. Parallel means that they are, you know. Same line together. No, we don't want this. We want this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got so it. Got the, it. It looks natural. Got it. Yes. Time flies, man. Yeah. This is actually this is really the beauty of like the doodle sessions with you. Mm. It's like I I literally don't remember my stress <laughs> at all. I'm just like That's oh so yeah, I'm just drawing. I'm just having a good time. You know. Yeah. Me too. I feel so much better. Thank you, Jen. No, thank you. Thank you for like that surprise when you revealed it. I'm like, oh my goodness, you've been yeah, keeping that for me. Yeah, I wanted to show you, but today I've been busy for work and I couldn't finish like the whole um, lesson plan. That's why mm. I I decided to okay, never mind, just reveal to you later. Yeah. All right. Let's do a tall. Let's do a longer or taller crystal. It could overlap the. The crystal ball a bit, but if you if you don't want, that's fine. Just slightly beside the crystal, that's okay. A Wait, I want to show one. you what John John drew. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's, <laughs> this is small. like the, my crystals are small. <laughs> that that is too small, John. But that's cute. Probably you can um magnify some of them <laughs> by. Three or four times. <laughs> so funny, guys. We're not um we're not hanging there. So please, you know, just wait for Jen's 
live to reactivate it again later and don't leave it leave our session yet okay okay so just do random taller crystals yeah here it will be like a bit a bit challenging already as well because you can't really follow mine you can just do it your own mm. Try to draw it bigger, guys. Don't be afraid. There's there's so much space here. What are you afraid of, right? I don't know. It could be some could even just pointing all the way almost to the border. It's fine. Remember, it's un non parallel. Everything is heading towards a uh, different direction. Mm. And different shapes. It could be long. It could be. Um, smaller, broader. And once you're confident with this, you can do all the lines for the, the edges and cuts inside. If this is challenging for you, I think four is good enough. If you're good and confident, five or six, please go ahead. I'm going to try one, two, three, four. I'll try five. That's good. Mm, let's try another diamond. This time I'm going to draw a big one so John don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> um, Edaf say, John, your crystal kurang vitamin, ya? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> Mom, <you're interested. laughs> oh my god, I love you guys. Oh, oh, it's so it's, it has gone so through funny. that <laughs> Yeah, just drew a house. <laughs> guys, imagine that the banners just overlapping a bit. So your crystal, don't worry of you know, being too big. There's so much space here. I'm just going to zoom out a bit and let everyone see too. When, uh, I mean, how do you know that your crystals are too small, too big? Compare it with your crystal ball. Once you focus here too much, I mean, put it away and just look at the whole picture and you will know whether your crystals are too small or too big. This is slightly challenge more challenging, but mm -hmm. I actually really, really enjoy this challenge. That's good. Yeah, because I think it gave us a lot of like um, different kind of like the first the first week was more mm -hmm. of like, you know, we learn how to express ourselves and just mindlessly draw. And right now it's kind mm -hmm. of like intention, you know? So you kind yeah, of like, it's like, Yes, it, and also subconsciously you are building up the composition yourself. In the, even though I have like suggested this and that, that yeah. you are deciding things along the way. Which yeah. is a difficult skill building as well. I really like that. Yes. And there's also like um depth of field, like the banner is in front, the crystal and, and bow is at the back. Mm. Is everyone okay with the crystals? Suddenly, everyone is so silent in the common area again, and <laughs> I know everyone's <laughs> very focused. If you're good, yeah. you can just continue with crystals on the right. Got it. Yes. It could be even crystals that are round or horizontal, something like that. Mm. Yes, doesn't matter because it's it's a natural element. It's supposed to grow all the way. A 
some thin ones. That's fine too. Once you're done with the sketches here, then you're good to start inking. Okay, Jen? Okay. Everyone as well, John too. I'm just curious how John is doing. <laughs> He's actually doing not too bad. That's good. That's I the thing about your classes, Limzy. Like you really just teach us simple the simplest way we can draw this. That's why I really love about it. That's so nice. But you realize once you're done with this, this is not simple at all already, you know. Like yeah. this is really um, sophisticated and there's a lot of meanings and layerings and a yeah. lot of things going on. Yeah, actually I noticed that. Yes. Okay, so earlier, when you sorry noticed that you um when you draw the um, the outline and mm -hmm. right now you're looking at it from the whole thing, you just realize, like, okay, I get it now. Like, it's not, it's not just yeah. like small little elements. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. I think this is kind of like the gist of um what we have learned this few weeks. Mm. Wow, so impressed. <laughs> Someone says, Sally says, drawing this makes him crave for French fries. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> I cannot. Jen, your, your followers <laughs> all too creative. Mm -hmm, very not creepy. not French fries at this hour, guy. Huh? Very, very, very hungry. Yeah. 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 Along the way, remember to add shading and a bit of... um random lines here and there to to make your things not so angular mm. okay and you can just add twinkles and stars all around the crystal ball and crystals make this you know um, the whole mythical topic even magical yeah The crystal part, it's a bit challenging. Please take your time. Remember the structure. One, one good um, tip is if you have both thicker and thinner pen, hmm. you can use a thicker pen to draw the outer lines. And for the thinner pen, um, you can use it for you know the, the edges, uh, sorry, the shadings and random lines on the side. Mm. Or other words, if you don't have like pens for variation, you can just repeat lining and inking the, the outer the outermost edges again, the shapes again. Yes. But this is optional, so you can just do shading. Sorry, Jen, you need to move up your notebook oh. a bit. Yes. 
great. So nice. Really learning a lot. Thanks so much. Really good. TJJL asks, any rule for shading? Um, if you're in a class, if you're in a Doodle session before, so one of the tips for shading will be on one side, you just do all the slanted lines. Repeat repetitively like this. Okay, so imagine that this is the crystal that we learned earlier this session. Just do and repeat all the slanted lines on one side. And there you go. From afar, it looks like shading. If you feel like you want to add more depth of the shading, you just slant it more again so that it seems like there's the bright side, the middle gray area, and also the, the darker side. Is this good enough? Okay, so this is one of the, the tips for shading. Oh, okay, Winnie, sorry. Do, if you want to do coloring first, I would definitely recommend you to color first before shading. But this is really up to your personal preference. It doesn't matter. Okay. Do you have colors, Jen? I'm going to look for a highlighter like you at it. Okay. I try to find but yours, but yours for now is, is really good already. Okay. So color is optional, everyone. If you want to color, I'm just going to show the, the colored piece here. So if it's colored and you still want to do a bit of layering, that's fine too. When it's dry, just top up the layer and shading on top of the, the color. Hello, Chan Won. Chan Won is here. Chan Won, Chan Won, Chan Won. What's what's gonna be your theme tomorrow? Tomorrow we we haven't think of it yet, but we kind of. What do you want to do, Chan Won? I, I can't remember anymore. I'm really bad at that. No worries. You oh, you let I us know on your IG stories, right? Oh, I think it's food. Yes, food. Oh, yums. <laughs> Yams. So should I continue on with the globe? Yes, Jen, please do so. Okay. Yes. So for the globe, remember to do your crescent, the ball doesn't have to be perfect. Add your twinkles. If you want to darken your twinkle, that's fine too. Add stars and fairy dust. Cheryl asks, do you prefer art line pen or ball pen? For now, I prefer art line, but I think it's fine for both. So it, it also depends on personal preference. If you're serious to it, get an art line pen and compare with a ball pen. But if ball pen is more common, so just get a ball pen first, like Pilot, that's fine. For me, what matters most is the skills. You know, mm. if you already have the skills, whatever tools you have, you can just do it. Mm. Are you going to do live stream all the way, Jen? Yeah, I'm going to. 
Oh my god, I salute you both. Everyone please what? give Jen and John like a <laughs> big round of applause. I really salute well, you. For me it's like if there are people who are willing to be a part of it and people are still mm-hmm. watching, I want to keep doing it, you know? Mhm. So good. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's good. Should I, I think color it the stars or should I just You can darken it if you want. Okay. Yep. I think the live stream heals like us as well. Yeah. It heals it heals not just the viewers but it also heals us like you feel like we're connecting with people, you know? True and I and I feel like I'm talking to you both and everyone else. Yeah. Wow, so nice. Yeah, I'm oh my feeling it. I'm really really feeling it. I feel it really feel like it's the gypsy's room, the corner. Yeah. The secret corner. Something really magical about it. I love it. Yes. Well, what else should I do here? Should I just shade the sides here? Yes, you can darken that too, or you can shade it whichever you like. You can even add a symbol in the middle, like a love shape, or yeah, whichever oh, element that you need. Yeah, sure. Please go ahead. Well, the crystal ball is kind of like a big piece of element in the middle. If you feel like something's lacking there, remember to add all the twinkles and the glass effect and also the shading like this so that it will add depth on and, and many layers onto it. One way to shape the crystal ball is you can do the slanted straight lines too. That's fine. But if I want, want to make emphasize the round effect, you can do very faint and blunt curve lines as well. Just go according to the circle of the mm-hmm. outer shape. Can you use pencil to do that? Yeah, you can just use pencil. That's even better. I think the beauty about this crystal ball is because, you know, it's glass. So mm-hmm. it reflects everything and anything. So that's why you don't really have to worry about it being too accurate in terms of the science part of it. True. That's it. How's everyone? Is it okay so far? Suddenly, like, too focused. <laughs> Everyone's very focused. Thank you. 
You can add some twinkles or dots around the bowl and crystal gem, but just very subtle because I think those looks very nice really. Weenie says Jen like pro already. Yay. Yeah, I agree that. <laughs> So guys, if you are done, remember to look at this for the whole picture. Just add anything that you want to add around the border or add colors, you know, the overall feel, add some fairy dust or stars here and there. Wow, John. You want to show everyone? I'm really curious. Honestly, like for the first time, I'm so proud of you. Like his, it's his first time joining us, you know, so I'm like... I'm very impressed. But you can, you can shade a little bit more, John. You rest get shade a bit. You see, okay, so John is very nervous. You see, it's actually really not bad. Wow, nice, John. Really but good. He's very, he's very scared. Look, look at this side. He, he, ah. His shading is small, small like this. He, he really mm. So try, try. <laughs> try, John. You need to uh, release, release your, how do I say, because you, I think John is more technical. Yeah, do, do yeah. I feel that you need to release the other side of you, the emotional, the subconscious. Yeah. Just let it go. Oh my God! You know, Limzy, you need to do like how to say ah. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to do a therapy session with this man. Like once the MCO <laughs> is done, you need to you need to take this somewhere else. Like I think you found gold. You dig gold, you know. <laughs> serious, serious. This is something that like not everyone can do. Because your mm -hmm. your awareness is like the way you mm -hmm. broke this down for someone like me can mm -hmm. draw it. It really mm -hmm. is very special. Mm -hmm. I get what you mean. Yeah. I actually we actually took art therapy um subject for one or two of the semester in oh. college. Um, it's really fun. It's really fun. And yeah. you will reveal another side of you that you never know you can. Uh, I mean, especially for the students. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I think that's you. I think you need to, you need to, in Malaysia, I don't know anyone who else that does this, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. Probably let's just, for now, I'll practice more on teaching everyone and we'll just do this for, you know, everyone for free now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it helps you like um you you definitely receive comments from followers that they, they this session really helps them a lot. Yeah. Especially like just cooked up at home. Yeah, and, and you can you can tell by like the way people have said it, you know, like they look forward to your session so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Jen. You are the one who realized this. Like, um, before doing live with you for, during MCO, I was just doing random illustration mm. here and there, like not knowing that actually there are some of you who are who want to learn because it it's been so it's been so long for me. It mm. is almost automatic. I just feel like this is my instinct. I'm doing this as a career, as a hobby, just everything. Yeah. But I forgot, I kind of forget that there are people who, who really just want to explore drawing or art or doing yeah. in, in general. So you really just help me realize like this is another, another really good thing that I realized during MCO. So I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. I think they really... It's really all about like learning new ways. And I think what's so special about mm -hmm. this is 
look, it's one and one and a half hours, and it's done. <laughs> And here we are, you know, just drawing and doodling mm-hmm. and learning new skills. I think that mm-hmm. is just that's the beauty of it, because time just yes. passes just like that. That's the beauty of it. You're not thinking about your stress. You're not thinking about anything. You're just drawing. True. Yes. Just forget about everything. We need to. We need to learn how to blank ourselves sometimes. Mm. We're so occupied with things, like um, not you. I mean, not just you and me, but everyone. People nowadays, yeah. we we just want to get going and go forward. And sometimes we just forgot to sit down and and chill. Even during eating or having meals, we will still, you know, swipe the phones here and there, thinking about yep. the next project and work. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Exactly. How to, I have to learn how to switch off. Wow! Everyone's so excited. Oh my goodness! Love the therapy idea. Thank you. It turned out so nice. Now you all can draw. Yeah, you really. We actually have another border, Jen. Oh, thank you. We actually have another border. I'm not sure. Should we continue or you know, like, what do you think? What do you have in mind? Um, remember the picture that you uh you you showed me. Terrarium, like the crystals are inside with the oh yeah, pet oh and that yeah, one, that that, that's really cool. But I want you to decide. Like absolutely no pressure at all. If you feel mm-hmm. like okay tonight, I think you know we did a big project, lots to, lots to mm-hmm. uncover. You want to take a break? Mm-hmm. It's fine as well. I okay, really I don't mind. mind. I don't mind. What about you? I also don't mind. I'm just here having the time of my life. For the first time <laughs> in my life, I'm able to do this, guys. Look at this. It's really nice, already, Jen. I think you should stop doing. Like, don't <laughs> overdo it. It's very nice, Jen. Just stop. Yes. I'm so obsessed right now. Yeah, so obsessed. I think we should. Shall we continue, guys? Are you okay with it? It's. It will be. A, I'll try to make it simple for the bottles and terrariums. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's do let's do one. Okay, let's do it. Woohoo! Everyone's so okay, here, right? Let's flip to a new page. Mm. Oh my god, it looks so good. I can't get over this. Wow, so nice. I'm so happy. You can, you can just look into the crystal ball, you know, like wow, so yeah. many things. That's another world there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yes, let's try the terrarium. Okay, then we will just jump straight to the the elements. Uh, sorry, the border without doing the warm ups. I hope everyone's confident with that. Okay, let's do a. You ma- imagine that in the gypsy. Or witch's room, so there are a lot of potions here. Sorry, guys, I can't show you anything because I I just did some some very rough sketches that I can't even like just explain to you all. So we will put all these potion bottles mm-hmm. on the table here. Imagine that the bottom area is the table. Okay, so we're gonna do a tall bottle, probably about four fingers, something like that, with a very Small lid. Okay, so just start with the small lid like this. It's okay. like three quarter of a okay. square. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Then. Okay, if you just want to learn this as element, not as border, that's fine too. Okay, so this is I'm doing this on my bottom left of my page. Then, um, so just extend out a bit. Like this is the lid, and this is the cork. So this is the lid of the bot the bottle. Okay, great. And after that, you're gonna do this bell jar shape. Oh, it's okay. curved and then straight to the bottom and close it with a blunt curved line. 
like it's got a very wide and broad inner content here so that we can draw something inside okay okay yeah take your time so remember a very small lid and cap or cork and a very fat or broad bell jar or dome shaped bottle yeah mm. How, what's the trick to draw that thing this one I'm at my wit, wit stand really. so just do this curve then come down straight and then curve and come down straight okay try try, try get the sides yes. yeah I can't get like both sides to look the same okay wow this takes <laughs> I think this is my subconscious again I think you just need to practice Jen okay try to imagine try to gauge the the angle that you did for the first one and then just try to estimate it on the second one as well okay um, let me yes. try that will do the trick uh, I'm just gonna draw it just draw it don't think don't think just draw <laughs> it's okay don't rush no rush all right i'm 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 free and I have all the night for you all. You know, Jones are so nice. How the does... reason being, I think he's a very, he's good with techniques, like technical yeah. person again. That's yeah. a good fact. I think John's forty is is drawing straight and structured. <laughs> so probably yeah. a bit of shapes and lines. He's called OCD. OCD? Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine, Jen. No worries. Okay. Done is better than perfect for this case. Okay. Mm, good. Okay. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of you. Okay, good. Yay. Let's move on to another bottle here. Okay. So we're going to do we're going to do a composition that is like there is tall bottle, there is short bottle, there is like some crystals here then and then there's another tall bottle. So we just don't want to keep line straight so to let viewers to go here up and down and up and down again okay, okay so let's okay. zoom in and we'll do a a shorter and flatter bottle shorter and flatter yeah my, my bottle a bit sang is it okay it's okay my no worries like, we it's, it's okay. okay no worries yeah. yeah so let's do a a very flat oval like pancake or being squash, great. And this is more like a terrarium. So just do the 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 three D three D effect as well. Just two short lines on on both ends, and repeat the curve line again. So this is the lid, the cap, great. Okay, just come down a bit again. Just for both ends shorter and then it's really hard for me to explain this but you have to curve it out it's okay to overlap a bit that's the whole point come down straight and repeat on the right and close it with the curve end <laughs> I try yeah, this is hard. Yeah, this is hard. Even I can't do it perfect as well, but just want to show you options of bottles. Yeah. I do my yes. <laughs> yes. Remember the, the base is curved, okay? Mm. And if you feel like it's too much, then remember to always flip your page, your paper up and down. Mm -hmm. Where it is. Okay. Okay, great. Very nice. So on the bottom right, this will be the third bottle. There will be some crystals here, so I'm not going to do this. There will be a bottle here, but this bottle is kind of similar to this, just that it has a longer... Is it a, the neck or something like that? So okay. this is taller. You can start with the same shape for the, the cap and lid or cork. Okay. And it has this long, is it a neck 
of the bottle or something like that. So just curve it out, long neck straight, then curve it out, come back with, repeat it on the right. Doesn't have to be perfect, mine's not too. And curve the bottom line. Nice, Jen. Thank you. Yeah. You're trying your best. This is good. That means we're learning new things. Mm. Mm. You can make it more curved up here The after mm. the neck. Mm. Got it. Got it. Okay, there's some space here. You can just add some crystals. For your case, the space is not a lot. You can just add one or two. So it will be the same technique and composition as what we did for the crystal. I mean, the crystals beside the crystal ball. Got it. Yep. Should I draw on top of this? No. You Wait. can overlap it. You okay. can overlap it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Overlapping always makes things more interesting. Mm. Yeah, so this is kind of beyond doodle already. Like, this is real drawing. Oh. We've elevated. Yes, elevate. Okay, continuing the the contents inside a bottle so that probably later we can ink the crystals together. So here I just want everyone to put something in, like um, it could be crystal, it could be a moon. It doesn't have to make sense, but it's something like what the witch or the, the gypsy will keep and even the sun. So I'm going to do a sun here. Remember, we do the Atta sun. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. I'm going to draw yes. a sun. Yeah, so it's kind of like, oh, uh, she keeps the energy of the sun mm. inside the bottle so she can um, summon it. Yeah. Yes, can summon it. Remember the sun the, with the very swirly, twirly hit. Okay. It's, it's all contained within the, the bottle, right? For the next one, this is broader and shorter. You can even put um, an insect inside like a dragonfly or a bee. I know that we didn't cover this, but for those of you who are confident, you can do it. If not, you can put a plant or a cloud, even a cloud that we... Oh, yeah, a cloud, a cloud. Yes, yes. remember the Atas cloud too. Yes, Atas you can cloud. Put a... Yes. I want to draw two clouds or just one or just one, okay. You can do too, like some just slight overlapping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. John, you can just look at Jen's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have to make sense. Like you can put in plants or cactus. Yes. We have done so many elements, so you can definitely find a few things to put it in. Or even stars, twinkles, and even crystals. What else should I put inside? What are you going to put in this long one? I'm going to put planets. 
planets. Oh yeah, yeah, we drew pa- planets. Okay. Yes. Let's look Or for that. Or meteorite. You can flip to the revision part. Yeah, the one that we this did. was what we did the other day. Yeah. So I might be drawing yeah. this one right here. So guys, you can put galaxy stuff inside or you can put flowers, plants, um, insects, whichever you like. And then you can ink everything up. I think this is pretty straightforward. Mm. Okay, again, to make things convincing and believable that these things are trapped inside the glass, you always have to, you know, add shadings and mm. lines to the bottles. Someone says, can we do this af- even after MCO? <laughs> uh, let's see. We see, la, we see. Again, after MCO, we need to make money, guys. We are, are very, we are quite busy. I think everyone's busy, but let's see, okay? Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, never say never. It's really mm-hmm. fun. It is. You can darken your cork. Mm. Two. And just add some random lines according to the shape of your bottle. You can even add like um, very faint and blunt lines inside to show the base of the bottle like this to add 3 dness Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay, you can also add shadows underneath the bottle. So these are all the tricks and tips for it to make it really three-dimensional and, and convincing. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, it came and she's surprising our life. How come it keeps going after yeah. one hour? Yeah. Huh? Maybe they realize, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just yeah. let them. Just let them. Once you're done with the first bottle, you can keep moving on mm-hmm. to the rest. And probably the same technique as well. You can darken the lid, ink out all your bottles and contents inside, shade it.
And for your cloud, remember to just add some swirly shadings. Remember to add some twinkles or dots all around. Mm, yeah. Because the magic is supposed to be uh, on every page. Mm. You're so fast, <laughs> MC. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jim. It's so like fast. when I'm when I'm when I'm just drawing by myself, and I and when I don't talk, I can really just go sketch like, real fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I mentioned that it's like the instinct already for for mm. me. But take your time, please. No worries. I want to match you. That's good. I want that. <laughs> oh. Naza, Naza Hira says her phone is dying. <laughs> oh no! Get your get your phone charger. Yeah, get your phone charger, or you can check out the live again on on Jen's. Come for twenty four hours. <laughs> yes. Thank you. 
Is everyone okay? I'm doing all right. That's good, Jen. Okay, just finish all your bottles from the left to the right, and then I'm gonna. I'm just going to show how we're gonna do up there. It's very simple, just lines as well. Mm. Is everyone okay? Yeah. I'm so focused. Yes. <laughs> super focused. Super, super focused. This almost feels like meditation class already. Right? Wow. Yes. Okay, let's keep that. Jen Shin asks, Lindsay, do you organize classes or workshops? Not for now. Reason being it's MCO. And I never do doodle or drawing class for now. So we'll just do it here with Jen. And also I do it on my, my handler as well. So it will be on the weekends. You can check it out. Yes. Yes. How is John doing, Jen? Like, can you secretly sneak peek? It's actually not bad. It's just that, just like him, it's very structured, but mm. I'm very proud of him. Wow, like, it's actually good. It's actually really, good really good. Especially yes. this is so beautiful. My goodness. Yes. John, and John, John. John. Clap for you. And John understands the light source too. <laughs> Everyone, if you feel overwhelmed with the shading, which looks like we're doing a lot here, it's okay. Just um, shade a bit will do. Like uh, we did a lot of shading for those who followed us from part one to three. So probably you're more confident. But if not, then it's okay to, you know, just this do a bit exciting. of randomizing there. Sorry, Jen. Just experiment. Like, yes, just I'm, going, I'm going overboard in my shading, but I don't care because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jen is really, really good with it already. So first is form. I'm writing it here. Form is most important and foremost, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, of course, we have to have fun, all right? Shading is really next. So just put it as a second priority. It doesn't have to be all these things going on. Okay? Mm. Yes. Jensen says she didn't manage to follow the bottles part. Her pen out of ink. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Very rajin. Yeah. It's, Clearly, it's you really. You sh probably you shade a lot in the previous one. That's why. Yeah, and now you need a shopping list like Jen's. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's move on to the top part. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go all the way up here in the middle. We will add this gypsy's eye on Ooh. the middle. The middle. I'm not sure if this is sensitive or not, but some people find the um the eye a bit intimidating. If let's mm -hmm. say you don't want to do the eye, you can just do any galaxy in the middle if you want. Okay, mm. but I'm gonna do the eye here. So Jen, are you okay with it? Yeah, to me it's just an eye, so I'll just draw it. <laughs> it's okay because uh, yeah, some some people find it sensitive. Okay, let's do an eye, just in the middle on of the top of your page. Mm -hmm. So it's an almond shape, close to the border. It could be slightly bigger because it's kind of like the center piece. I I see this everywhere for tarot cards, so I'm not too sure what what does it mean. If anyone knows, let us know. But I just feel that it's very interesting. Mm. Yeah, you can go slightly nearer to the border. Okay. Yep. So let's do an almond shape. We're we're we're, we're done, so guys. This is the last leg of our. I'm so proud of you all. <laughs> An almond shape. Okay. And then circle in the middle. Yes, correct. And a smaller circle in the middle. Okay. And let's add a twinkle, the, the four-line twinkle in the middle. Okay. Yes. Line twinkle. Great. I think we can sh ink from here. Okay. Okay. So just do the almond shape of the eyes. It's very graphic and very two dimensional. So just ink out everything first. Inside the, is this an iris? You can darken the circle outside the twinkle. Okay. okay. Yes. And then you can do lines for the, the larger circle coming out like that. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the almost eyes. <laughs> Like a John one, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, more eyes. Okay. <laughs> Great. And now let's do some very stiff and separated eyelashes. Almost okay. feels like this. They're just straight lines. Doesn't have to be of the same line. Just random. And for the bottom lashes as well. Oh, Rosalind says, if not mistaken, this is something like having a third eye, like supernatural abilities. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we learn stuff. We learn stuff from everyone. Yes. Okay, you can make some of the lines thicker if you want because this is really graphic. You want um, it to stand up. Okay. You hear someone say my eyes were separate. <laughs> 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 yeah, I noticed also my eyes is the Chinese girl eyes. The Chinese girl eyes. Yes. And mine, eyes is eyes. It's okay. Perfect. This is Jen's. Hello, it's Jen up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do from the eye and we're gonna do the, how do I call this? Like, it's, it's curved but straight. So it's kind of like the bow jar shape as well. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All the, the way down last, here. Down, yes. This is the border, and you can just subalic your pitch. Yeah, it's easier that way. 
Yeah. You can just use the I as a guideline. Okay. So on both sides of the top area, you can add clouds or crescent, whichever you like. I'm just adding some clouds, random clouds here. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's starting to get so mystical. Yeah, this is very surreal too. Like it reminds me of Dali or um do you know Dali? Jan Salvador yes, Dali? Yes. yes Dali's yeah. the one with the weird, weird uh mustache on, right? Yeah, very weird mustache and his paintings has a lot of um it brings it has a lot of symbolism for each yeah. of the elements. Yep. Yeah. And Rene Magritte, something the the gentleman with the apple covered on his face. Yeah. This is a very Famous painting. I'm sure you know of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just add. <laughs> Auntie Sion's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Sion's eyes. Goodness. You can add stars or sun or moon, whichever you like, shooting stars. Mm. Yes, guys. I think something's amazing today. Our life never ended, Jen. <laughs> yeah, Did something you... happened. Something happened. Yeah, we must have touched, you know, the Instagram algorithm. We have yeah, really broken I think it. know. Oh, good. John just said MCO extend, live stream also extend. <laughs> yes, probably. Have mercy on us. Guys, just go as creative as you are here. You can just add whatever you like on the, on the sky, on the planet, add an earth, another planet or moon. Just, just go crazy. And remember to add, uh, add some shades around. I know shading might be a bit tiring for some of you, but trust me, it is all worth it. Yeah, I agree. It, 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 yes. it really changes everything. Yeah, and it has something to do, like you mentioned, Jen, with repetition. Mm. Yeah, it, it really helps. Like, you're just not thinking, about. you're just doing Yes, yes. You're not doing any decision anymore. Yeah, you're just repeating certain lines. Sure. I'm going to draw a big moon. I want to practice drawing crescent because my crescent always, always look like a freaking banana. So <laughs> yeah, you can start with the, the circle. Yeah. Sometimes the easiest thing is the hardest, right? Yeah, I don't understand. Why is it so difficult? Another OCD too. <laughs> a bit, go a bit. Yeah, a bit, a bit. But it's good. That means you want improvement. Yeah. Oh, I like what you're doing with the clouds. Thank you, it, Jen. It just something random. <clears throat> I just swirl some of the clouds too, like the you know the Chinese cloud. Yeah. Yeah. So just do some very blunt, random swirls all all around.
And once you're confident and good enough, you can just line your, um, it's kind of like the, the window or the door border. I won't be adding too much here, but please, if you want to draw as much as you can, please go ahead. I just want to keep it simple for those who, who just join us. But this is already level, like, I don't know, level <laughs> four or five. I hope you all are not overwhelmed. If you have endured all the way to here, please be proud because this is not easy at all. I'm like trying to up everyone's game every other yeah. little session. Really, really, really love it. Lynn's request for a repetition, repeat of the cloud. Okay, I'm going to do one more cloud here to show you all. Okay, so this Atas cloud is actually scallops on the top. This is like the usual cloud, just random scallops on the top, but at the two ends, you try to elong elongate it like this and remain it straight at the bottom, like this. So this is the basic shape of the, the Chinese clouds. <laughs> Sorry, that, I, 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 meant no, I meant no disrespect, but this <laughs> is how I always call it. Or let's call it the Mandarin cloud. You always see like Chinese New Year, they always do this kind of cloud. Yeah. And repeat another one behind so that it is you know a bit of death death of field okay then you can ink it in the basic outer lay outer shape first And I'm, I'm going to shape all the line at the bottom here, just straight slant lines. And then for the scallop part, you just do this random swirl, very blunt, and it doesn't have to make like much perfect logic or what. Just go according to the, the scallop part. Okay. This is not easy to perfect it. It takes time. Joanne Chow said this is the Xun Hong Club. Yes, correct. 
the Steam Home SS, the marketing stuff. Steam Home, yes, that's right. Wow, Jen, I'm so you're so much more confident and you're also you're be you are using your instinct and, and like the how do I say the subconscious mind to draw as well. I can feel that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going with the flow. What yeah. I feel like just putting, I just put yeah. in. in. Yeah. That's why I noticed that it really helps me because I'm no longer yes. just like figuring out, okay, is this right? Is that wrong? You know, yeah. remember the yes, first class, correct. I was following you. Deciding. Yeah, I was following you right to like the the, the, the end mm. of it. You know, like, I need to make yeah. sure it's perfect. But now, You're so relaxed. Yeah, I feel very... Yeah. you can feel the difference from your first lesson till now like first lesson you will question yourself like is this yeah. correct and even yeah. you will just uh, focus on just one line and then say, yeah, this one cannot uh, then you do it again but now I can tell like wow you are really just releasing your your you know all the, the sides of you just going into one painting yeah. one drawing yes Serious, I'm not. I I know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel it. Yes. I really feel it. It's so cool that you can see yes. it. Yes, it can. It, it's like what I said. Um, this is another Lindsay's quote. Like every stroke is um, an evidence of your your growth in this mm -hmm. whole doodling. Yeah, and it's a memory of how you do this. Yeah, I think that's really beautiful. Wow. Somehow reminds me, it kind of looks like a dome within a dome. Like yeah. there's a dome and then there's bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was what I was kind of like going for. Oh, wow. goodness. I think it's, it's done already, Jen. I need to stop you because you are like, <laughs> you keep on doing. That's good. We also need to know when to stop. Otherwise, we will be overdoing it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't, yeah. I, I, like, I want to draw more dots. I want to like, just. <laughs> I want to just yeah, yeah, yeah. add some more. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Good enough. Oh my goodness, Limzy. This is this is really another magical. Like, I'm looking at this. I cannot believe I do it. I I I, I, I cannot explain this to you. I'm so emotional mm. right now. Like, okay, see some messages that say this is my first time. I'm happy that I can doodle. Guys, you need to know this is not doodle anymore. It's next level. Limzy just said it's it's the next level. We are playing with dimensions. We are playing with layering. Yes. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I am Jen, so, I'm so happy. So happy. I, I, I don't know how to I don't know how to repay you. This is therapy <laughs> and I'm I'm so grateful for this, Lindsay. That's so beautiful. Can you show everyone your first page as well? Wow. <laughs> Nice. Um, it feels spiritual so too. Like. Yeah. Because yeah. remember when I wanted the jewels because I wanted it to be healing. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't know that it would take me here, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I really love it. Speechless. I want to draw more. I'm going to like, I'm going to get like my creativity on later. Like tonight before I sleep, mm -hmm. I'm just going to draw more. Maybe I'll Please. just my shopping list. Please do more, please. <laughs> you will get better and better, trust me. And you will, you will also do your own composition. You know, I, I understand now it's a bit of copying here and there, but yeah. somehow now or later you will um, do the big picture and the composition deciding, which is mm. good. Because yes. I noticed your page here, the way you, the way you put your jewels, mm -hmm. it's like it, it, it's like it's coming out. You see your jewels, it's like it's coming out like that. Mine mm -hmm, is, mm -hmm. there's no form or shape just yet. So that's one thing I'm that I'm going to in. 
Like mm-hmm. yours is like it, it's it, it's coming out like this. Mm, it's growing. You know, <laughs> understand? It's 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 a bit scattered, but I understand you definitely can improve on this. Remember the tip mm. of non vertical, but still mm. growing, growing outwards. Mm. Mm. I love this. I can't wait to write like my favorite quote here, and then like all this. I think the reason why I really like um, doing borders is because mm-hmm. you can use this page to write something to remind yourself. So yes, I think this is really, really beautiful. Um, I, I, I'm just very speechless right now because John also did his like. Kind of went inside. Wow, John! <laughs> you really need to talk like me. So beautiful. Maybe so he'll draw more. He'll draw more um jewels here or something to close the gap. I can't really see the the bottom, oh, Jen. Could you? Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yes. Wow, John. John is different too. You know, like he he is not shading just now, but you can tell all the lines there. Goodness. And look at he's look really, at this he's, he's making himself more at ease. Yes, yeah, so much difference in just two two drawings. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's good nice. job. Proud of you. Good job. Really nice. This is really good. the second. I, I the first one is nice, but the second yeah. one is totally like the game, the game up, up, up game of your, your yourself. Limzy, this um, is where it all started. Oh, <laughs> the banner, <laughs> <laughs> Crystal. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the beginning, and that's the end. Yeah, look at that. In just <laughs> this is what you did. This is what you did, yeah. Lindsay. Um, yeah. I, I'm going no, to let you go right now, but I just want to tell you. <laughs> John's here. Hi, John. I just, I just want to say, uh, I'm just gonna l- let you go right now. Um, but mm-hmm. I do want to say thank you so much, and on behalf of everyone watching, I think it was so healing, so therapeutic, and we really appreciate what you're doing for us and with us. And thank you so much. Thank you, Jen. That's that means a lot. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, John. Thank you, you have everyone. A wonderful, thank you, so much. you have a wonderful day, a uh, wonderful night, and tomorrow have mm-hmm. a great one, guys. If you enjoyed this session and you want to have another session tomorrow, uh, Limzy and Chanwon is going to be doing it. So make sure you click up here. Just give it a click. You'll be able to see uh, follow Limzy or visit Limzy. Go ahead and click that right now, and you get lots and lots of updates from our IG stories. Okay. All right. Again, Limzy, thank you so much. I will speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, Jen. Bye, John. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh, I can't get over this. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go now. Good night to all of you. Have a really, really magical and beautiful night. Okay. Bye.